What is the basis of your investment decision? How do you derive your? Hi guys, this is Robert from SG Finance Matters. So what is the basis of your investment decision? Do you invest just because an online guru say so? Or do you invest because the news say so? In today's episode, I'll be sharing with you my three-step process. So if you are learning investing as a new skill, or believe that the market move based on investor sentiments, and you are a believer of non-news trading, do stay till the end to find out more. If you can recall in the recent news, Google and Lazada are going through major retrenchment and Tesla price dropping. With all these negative news, how come S&P 500 is charging like nobody business? Does that mean there are no more opportunity in the market? Of course not. For me, I don't follow news. News has never been a major concern in my investment decision because I have been there and done that. It only landed my portfolio in shambles. I have to recognize that I don't have the first-hand information that the big boys have. By the time those first-hand information reaches us, it's probably 100, 200 hands information. So what I do is just to go back to the basic, to do my homework, don't follow the news, and be responsible for any investment decision I make. So for today's video, I'll be sharing my three-step processes. Step one, look at the macro market. Example, S&P 500, your Dow Jones, your Hang Seng Index. Is it doing well or not? Step two, narrow down the focus of your asset to the region that you're looking at. Example, if I'm going to invest into Google, I'm going to take reference from S&P 500. Is the S&P 500 giving me the right signal as an overall first before I want to look into this asset class? And step three, the deciding factor whether I will invest into this company or not. Stay with me, I will share at the later part of this video. So based on the first two processes, do you also look into the macro market before looking into that asset class? Do feel free to comment below and share your processes with me. If you are looking to kickstart your investing journey right now and not knowing what to do, do feel free to drop me a text. And I look forward to sharing more with you. And to sum up today's video, number one, don't invest in news. Number two, be responsible for your own investment decision. Number three, the three-step processes. With that, that's it for today's video. Oh yeah, before I forget, the last step, which is also the most important step in my decision-making process, which is be familiar with your charts. Charts are our friends. Be familiar with them. Don't be an alien with them. So when you see this chart over here, what does it mean to you? What signals or information do you derive from it? Or it is just another piece of drawing to you? I look forward to your interaction. Do feel free to connect with me to check more. With that, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, please help me like, follow, and share. My name is Rover, signing off.